Hey guys, I'm Dan and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, you know guys, meron tayong i-unbox na bagong mid-range device from Samsung and that is the M31. Kakalabas na noong June 4 and I finally got my hands on it. And yeah, let's open this thing. So, ayun. Finally, get to unbox this beauty. I'm really excited for this though, guys, because I've always been a big battery guy. Damn. It's a lot smaller than I expected, guys. I know that hindi siya may pinaka modern na, dis na display. Kasi, you know, we got the chin here and may not siya. Pero, damn, kinis, kinis. So, what comes with the, the rest of the box? Uh, we have a USB C cable, a cheap earphone, fast charger. I think this is a 15 watt fast charger, a SIM ejector tool. I'm kind of disappointed though na wala siyang kasamang jelly case. I say a lot of Chinese manufacturers no in in this budget segment introduce their devices with jelly cases tapos si iba pa naka tempered glass. But for Samsung though I guess you know they really had to cut that out because I think you're getting a lot for your money here guys. 6000 milliamps that's unheard of in this budget segment. It's the biggest. It's the biggest in this budget segment. I can't get over the fact na 6,000 milliampere siya. I'm really happy na na-pick up ni Samsung yun. And to, naglabas sa sila. Gusto nyo ng battery life? O sige, bibigyan namin kayo ng battery life. 6,000 milliampere, magsawa kayo dyan. And the awesome thing about this, no guys, kasi a lot of big battery phones from before, like the Mi Max 3, ang laki ng battery niya, I think it was 5,200 milliampere, pero naka-LCD display siya. And as we all know, AMOLED screens are more efficient. I'm really looking forward, really looking forward to do an in-depth review of this thing. Yeah, let's peel this off. Damn. The plastic, guys. First impressions, no? It doesn't look plastic at all. Now, pag hinipo mo, yeah, you would know it's plastic. But the way it's reflect reflecting the light, mukha siyang glass, guys. And the screen, though. Now, again, no, another another thing that I like to point out. Samsung really missed, uh, missed an opportunity on this one. Because they could have thrown in a tempered glass here and included a jelly case, but voila! And as you can see, the camera modules, damn, sexy. Then let's switch this thing on. There we go. Again, no guys, no. I, I, I still can't get over the fact that may 6,000 milliampere ng bat ng cell phone nato for this size. Just looks like a phone that has 4,000 milliampere battery. Now I really need to get this a tempered glass. No? I, I, I am sometimes caught off guard no, by how sensitive these glasses are considering na naka Gorilla Glass 5 na to. Pero sometimes to with just my fingernails, nagagasgas eh. Let's quickly set this up. So yeah, and we finally got it set up in its full glory. Let's go through some of the external features first. First, we have headphone jack, the USB Type-C charging port, the microphone, the speaker grill, the volume rocker, the power button, the SIM slot, and then the noise cancellation. And then here we have the camera module, 64 megapixel camera, 8 megapixel ultra wide sensor. We also have the 5 megapixel macro lens and the 5 megapixel depth sensor. And then here is the fingerprint scanner in the flash. Here is the user interface. Grabe. Samsung has come a long way with their uh, One UI. And I remember back then, napaka clunky pa nung Samsung touch with nila eh. Now it's buttery smooth. And the blowware is pretty tame. They're all organized in these folders. And I'm sure you could easily disable them. Ang ganda nung display niya guys. Ang rich nung colors niya and napaka deep nung blacks thanks to the Super AMOLED display. Let's uh, go check the camera. So here's the main camera. You could easily toggle the ultra wide angle. Yeah, jump pa lang yung kahit malapit sa table may difference na. Next uh, video, same din. Meron din siyang wide angle. Although ano no, makapansin mo agad na hindi siya ganun ka sharp compared dun sa normal. And then, you also have the hyperlapse, slow motion, kung foodie ka, there's the food mode, night mode, here's the macro lens. We also have here the hand wave, is it the hand wave? Oh no, super steady, that's a super steady feature. 
and then there's also the pro mode and then the panorama mode and then yung nga pala, I almost forgot no the front camera is a 32 megapixel camera and damn it's packing pretty good camera hardware so going back to the camera ito yung mga sample photos ng mga nakuha ko so this one is the macro camera going back to the photo this is the normal ultra wide It also has this live focus mode na parang nag introduce siya ng blur sa surroundings ng object and you could adjust the strength This is the 1080p recording with video stabilization It looks pretty steady to me And this is the front facing camera recording in 1080p And this is how my voice sounds like Next, pakinggan naman natin kung gaano kaganda yung speakers nito. Let's go on YouTube. Ang kinagustuhan ko dito no guys is yung speaker niya. Hindi naman siya madali matakpan. So, you can imagine na naglalaro ka kasi karamihan kasi ng iba yung speaker nasa left side. So pag naglalaro ka, natatakpan siya ng palm mo. Pero for this one, kasi most of the time naman, fingers lang naman yung naglilay dito sa side na to eh. So yung speaker grills niya, hindi natatakpan, which is great. I'm not an audiophile, pero for me, no, parang yung sound niya, medyo matinig. And then, medyo mahina siya sa bass. And overall, very usable. Like, you could play some music here if you have to. And pag naglalaro ka, hindi ka makukulangan ng volume. So naman guys, check naman natin yung quality ng videos niya. Here we're playing a 4K video on YouTube. Pero actually naka 1080p lang naman siya. And as expected, maganda ang performance talaga ng Super AMOLED when it comes to videos eh. Ganda ng colors, ganda yung saturation niya. Colors just pop and right into your face. Ang contrast din, ang ganda. As wala ka na nga makita eh, yung dark scenes niya. <laughs> Basta talagang patay yung screen halos eh. And yan, ang napaka-colorful. Ito na guys, kaya ba neto maglaro ng games? Here, I went ahead and already installed three, uh, three popular games na most of you guys play, which is PUBG Mobile, Call of Duty, and Mobile Legends. Let's go through each one and see how the Exynos 9611 handles these games. So first, PUBG. Ito na yung PUBG. This is on HDR, graphic quality. Tapos max frame rate. Kaya kaya guys, kaya kaya. So if you love playing PUBG, yeah, you could definitely pick this phone up and you could play for hours on end. Laki laki ng battery eh, 6,000. It's really a gamer's dream. Although, pagka medyo madami yung tao, yeah, there is a little bit of slowdown. Nothing a graphic adjustment could fix. Lagay mo lang to sa smooth, solve na yan eh. See? Sobrang fluid na. Like, you gave up some graphic fidelity. Pero, if you play competitive naman, and if you're really sweaty, you're really gonna put it on eh, smooth for maximum frames. And this phone can deliver. And uh, let's check up the next game after this. Call of Duty. Yeah, um, landing mo na tayo. Para makita nyo lang kung ano yung performance. Naka-landing na tayo. Again, back on HDR settings. I'm really impressed guys. So far, it's handling it pretty well. Imagine mo kung ilagay pa natin to sa smooth. Okay, medyo may konting slowdowns pagka marami masyadong puno. Pero very, very playable guys. Very playable. Pasado to. Pasado sa PUBG.
Okay, this time, let's check out Call of Duty. Hindi natin kung kaya niya, kaya niya yung Battle Royale mode nito. Kasi, as far as I know, mas intensive yung Battle Royale mode nito kaysa sa PUBG. Eh. So, I'm currently running the graphic quality on high and frame rate also on high. Wait, double check natin ah. Pakita ko lang din sa inyo yung settings. So, yan, dito na tayo. In-game. Shit, ang baba ng sensitivity. <laughs> But anyway, ito yung graphics, graphic quality. Both on high, kaya ng kaya. Damn. So yeah, guys, pasado to Call of Duty on max settings. Obviously, hindi available lahat ng ano ah graphics preset. Pero you can run it on its highest settings na available and kaya ng kaya niya. Pasado, pasado. So, ito guys, Mobile Legends, as you can see, graphics quality on high. Malakas talaga kutog ko na ito, kayang-kaya ng Mobile Legends. Kung kaya niyo yung PUBG at saka Call of Duty, easy lang itong Mobile Legends. So, ito na tayo guys, in-game. Okay, damn! Ang smooth. Huwag niyo maliitin yung Mali G72, ah. Kayang-kaya niya. Easy. So to if you if you're an avid Mobile Legends player, this will this phone will meet your demands, talaga. Although hindi pa nakaload lahat yung ano yung assets, hindi pa downloaded lahat. Hindi <laughs> ko alam kung sino yung mga kalabaw ko champions. But regardless, even on high, smooth siya, kaya ng kaya. Pasado to guys, pasado. So why I like about this phone? Una una super AMOLED display. Next is your 6,000 milliamps battery. Then third, yung chipset niya, pretty well rounded. Kaya niya yung mga games na tinapon natin sa kanya. Eh, isabay mo pa yun sa AMOLED sa kayo malaking battery. Ang haba ng battery life talaga nito. I hope you guys enjoy this unboxing and first impressions of the Samsung M31. Abangan niyo yung upcoming in-depth review ko of this device so we can explore the features much more thoroughly. Thank you for watching and remember to subscribe, like, and share this video. Bye.